Hey guys, welcome back to Sticks and Stones Productions. I'm Kai, and today I have a review for you of the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Pen in Bronze. First off, the weight on this is 56 grams, which is about 2 ounces, so it's, it's pretty heavy, it's really hefty. Length, 14 centimeters, 5.5 inches. Price is $100, um, and you can get, for $20 more, a Timascus bolt. Now, in the good, on the good side, the bronze is really nice. It patinas. The patina isn't great, in my opinion. It just kind of darkens it, and it patinas really, really quickly. Um, so, if you're into that, that's definitely a big plus. But, if you like the brighter finish, you should probably go with the titanium, maybe bronze anodize it, or um, keep some polishing equipment on hand if you want to go with the bronze. Next, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there are very, very small machining lines and grooves all throughout the pen. Um, this adds a nice texture, it adds a nice grip. Um, they also hide the cap joint really, really well. If you can see, just there it is, and it's gone. Um, next, this is a this includes a non-captive spring, meaning that the spring isn't like secured in here by any means. It can come floating up, and while this might add something to lose, it also enables you to swap springs um, when switching inserts. This is actually the spring from a Pilot Precise Point V5 pen, because um, I'm using that insert. Um, along those lines. This pen takes a lot of inserts in the Pilot G2 style, although you can modify like a Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc cartridge insert to, um, if you like those. Um, Friction, which is the erasable Pilot line V5, which is my personal favorite. Um, next, the tip cap, this guy fits really nicely and it does have a little O-ring which creates a very nice seal and makes it uh, kind of resistant to take on and off, which is good because you don't really need to do that that often. The bolt action is very smooth. It's easy to both deploy and undeploy. Un open, close, minimal effort, great fidget factor. It's, it is kind of loud, which is not a big plus, but it's so smooth, you can just pull down, push. This pen is very, very well machined and very well constructed. It is solid bra bronze, not brass. It's pretty thick. Um, I don't have the measurements, but it's, it's thick. Um, it's very well machined. As I mentioned earlier, these machining lines, very nice texture. Um, it's also made in America, which is not that important, but it's by a small company, Tactile Turn, is owned and operated by Will Hodges, um, probably has a few employees for like storefront, but he's doing all the machining himself. Next, the top cap, which is this guy, not the tip cap. The edge is chamfered, and this is the only really real edge. So it's nice that they chamfered it. Um, clip is removable, so if you don't like clips, you can just unscrew this bit, take it off, and screw this back on. It does leave kind of a mark because of the no patina, but, and then there's a little gap, but if you really don't like clips, and this doesn't bother you too much, or if you're left-handed, you can just kind of do one of these. Can't really do it with the clip there. Um, and there is very minimal branding. The only branding is on the bottom side of the clip, tactile term, and the date of year it was manufactured. Nothing here. The rest of the cat pen is sterile. Now, there are a few things that are not great about this pen. The biggest issue I had oops, was that this clip what is not a very tight fit. What I mean by that is 
you put it on, screw this down, you can still kind of wiggle around. There's a lot of play, um, so that affects the string retention a lot. Um, I'm guessing that this is just a quality control issue. Um, I haven't heard any complaints about other people's clips doing this, so I guess it's just mine. But um, it's definitely an issue. And there's one sharp area right here on the hook of the bolt. Um, I don't know why you would be putting your thumb there, but it's certainly couldn't hurt to chamfer it. Um, and this is specific to the brass model bronze, but this is a really, really heavy pen. Um, it's two ounces. That's more than a Benchmade bug out. That is more than double the weight of this little guy, the Pilot. I'm blanking right now, but the Pilot Pen, I'll put the name up on screen. Watch the review if you haven't. And um, that can hinder lighting a little. You know, you can, it's not uncomfortable. You can certainly write with it, but it's not, the best experience and this is really thick like this dimension um it's not too big of a problem i haven't had any like hot spots or ergonomical issues because this is a ergonomically really sound pen um grip is nice it's perfectly round so there's no weird pokey things if you're holding it like this especially if you take the clip off um and there's really nothing too bad about that about this pen that is um especially if you get the titanium version the only real issue is that um this bolt hook is kind of sharp as long as you get a good clip um other considerations that you might have the price this is a hundred dollar pen that is a lot of money but this is a hand machined small maker usa made brass bolt action pen so that's not absurd. That's getting up into the price range where you have a lot of other options, definitely better value. But this is, this is kind of, in my mind, this is, this is decent value. Next, um, Will Hodges Tactile Turn, they do make um, short and mini versions of this pen. They also came out with a side click recently, um, which is, you just click and then there's a little button to depress on the side to undeploy. Um, the short takes uh, Parker style inserts like the Fisher Space Pan and the, um, what's it called? I'm blanking, but um, Parker style inserts. And you can modify some pilot inserts to fit. And the mini takes Pilot G2 mini cart inserts which is kind of annoying because you can only buy them in the Pilot G2 Mini but you can modify D1 inserts to fit. Alright final conclusions on this guy. Um, this is excellent pen. Takes great refills. My personal favorite is the Pilot Precise Point V5. It also takes G2 cartridges. Uh, I Sorry guys I forgot to do the size comparison earlier. Here we go, let's do that now. Here it is, against the Pilot G2 cartridge. Thick, round stick pen. Fisher Space Pen Bullet, capped. And posted. Pilot Metropolitan. And Parker Jotter. All right, final conclusions, sorry. Um, takes excellent refills. It's made small batch, small batch maker in the USA. Has great action, which is, it's a really interesting action. This is, um, there's not many um, bolt action pens out there. There's the, um, the tie scribe bolt by Urban Survival Gear and a few others, but this is definitely unique in its own ways from those. And 
The only potential downsides are the weight, thickness, and my pen, my clip that is, had a small um, spacing issue. Even though this is an expensive pen, starting to get into the price range where you can buy a nice fountain pen, the unique bolt mechanism, high quality materials, and incredible machining make this absolutely worth a splurge in my opinion. I hope you found this review to be all right and that you have a great day. Thank you.